Morning times can be a challenge, but there is a way to get away from the TV, connect with your kid, have them be learning, and still get things done in the morning. I promise you. Trying not to let Layla Jane spend all morning long watching TV is not easy or trying to get her to do some independent play so I can get things done in peace is also a challenge. By preparing simple activities for your kid to do every morning, you can take back those mornings. The activities that I plan to have every morning are going over things that Layla Jane has already mastered. I do not use this time to teach her new skills because otherwise, if it is something brand new, I'll be sitting there with her the whole time helping her. I always have a different activity planned every morning, Monday through Friday, super simple. And I'm gonna show you what they are this week. And then every Sunday on my Instagram, Instagram, I'm also going to post what activities I have planned for that week. So if you haven't already, go follow me on Instagram now. It's Hey Mamas18. So I always try to set up the activity the night before, and I did this last night. I put out six different colors of paper on the kitchen table, and then I'm going to use her little colored bears that she has for another activity. And what she has to do is sort the colored bears and put them on the appropriate colored piece of paper. And then to extend this, on the back of each paper, I wrote a random number from one to 10. And for the second part of this activity, she has to put the correct number of bears on each piece of paper. And I also gave her a few different utensils that she can use to pick it up if she wants to get a little creative or she can just use her hands too. This gives me a chance to fill up my coffee and start getting some breakfast prepped in peace. job, girly. Now we're going to do something different with it. Now when I flip these over, they have a number on them. What number is this? So look, Layla, this is purple and the number three. So how many bears do you think I should put on that one? One, Here two, no three. Here. You need a total of how many? So can you make sure you get six bears on there? You're doing awesome. You got eight, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. So not quite. Awesome. Next time though, can you do the colored bear that the paper is? One, two, three. And But we need four, so can you put one more down? You did it. Now can you do five red ones over here? So as you can see, super simple activities and she can keep redoing this and it's just things that I already had laying around the house. Most of this stuff is. And now she wants to go and practice writing the numbers. So this even extended beyond what I originally had planned. So it's given me a little bit more time to get some stuff done. But again, just super simple things. So now I think I can leave her and go finish up some breakfast. Today's activity has to do with letters. So I am teaching Layla Jane the letters of her name right now. So I wrote out just L and J, cause we call her LJ a lot. And I squirt some glue out just on some aluminum foil because I noticed that the glue is hard to squeeze and I just gave her a paintbrush. And she's going to glue noodles, dried noodles onto her letter. This is a great activity, not only for fine motor skills because she's picking up the little pieces of noodles she's painting, but it's also helping her learn her letters. And it's just fun, cause what kid doesn't like to paint? So I thought using a paintbrush and the glue would be more fun than just squeezing the glue on. And the great thing about these activities too is she gets to have some independent play while I get things done, but I can still be connected with her. So while I'm cooking, I'm also asking her questions about what the letters are she's doing. And we're just kind of talking about the project, but I still have like my hands free and time to myself to be doing things. What letters are those, Layla? J L. Good job. I did it, Mommy. That looks so good. You did the L. Do you do the J now? Yes. How many are there? Were you? I saw you counting those. How many were there? Four, five, six. Good job. Let's see how many you put on the J. Layla, that's awesome. 
And this activity is so easy to extend and make even longer too by just writing out more letters. And very inexpensive too. I just bought this pasta for a dollar at the dollar store. So very affordable too. Today's activity is another color sorting activity, and it involves some of her toy cars, some colored paper, and crayons. So today is a school day, so we're gonna have to multitask, do her hair while she's doing the activity, be doing her lunch. Uh, but again, this is perfect because it keeps her busy and not in front of the TV, so Brian and I can get things done. All right, baby girl, look at all these cars you have. Can you drive them down the street and put them on the right parking spot, the right color? This activity would be better spread out on the floor, but as you can see, we have a puppy and he would try to eat and grab everything. Which color has the most cars? Car How many cars is on green? One, one two, three. Three, is there another one that also has three cars? One, two, yeah. Which one has the least amount of cars? How many's on yellow? Just one. Just one. So as you can see, there's a lot of fun ways you can extend this activity and be talking to your kid while they're doing it. Ask them to count how many number of cars there are in certain colors, which one has the most, which one has the least. So again, even though you're busy doing other things and letting them have their independent play, you can still be kind of talking to them and connecting with them and helping extend this learning. I love this letting sorter activity and notice I only did three letters and they're letters that are in her name because we're still working on that and I don't want to do too many that it overwhelms her. And a great thing and a great extension um, option you could do for this is then maybe have your child sort them by which letter has like a hole in it, you know, like A has a hole in it, um, which letters have curves or which letters are straight. Now, Layla and I have not really sat and done that yet, so that would not be a good one for us to do for independent play because it wouldn't allow me to go and do other things. So right now she's just gonna stick with this and then I did buy her a new little sticker book and that could be a fun thing that I could add in addition to this because again, all of these, they don't always need to be educational. It could be a new coloring book, a new painting thing. I'd like to try to keep it educational but on days like this when I know this one is probably gonna be short, I don't mind throwing in just a little fun thing too. Ooh, I like your alien. Let's put he needs a nose, doesn't he? Let's see, here, I'll help you. Look at the nose they have on him there. Do you see that one on there? I think it's that one, what about? Yeah. yeah. I love your alien, he looks awesome. I'll put a link in the description below on where you can find these. I just love them and they entertain her so much and there's a bunch of cute like Halloween ones too out right now and we just have a blast with these. This morning we're doing another fun sorting activity and this is a color sorting activity using a dump truck and a little road and some pom-poms. What toddler would not like to do that? And again, this would probably be better if I could do it on the floor and make the road even longer. But again, we have Mojo, our adorable puppy who will grab and try to eat everything if we put it on the floor. So we have to do it on the table. All right, Layla, look, you have all these different color pom-poms and you're gonna have to pick some, maybe a few at a time, and put them in the dump truck and deliver them to the right color. Sorting activities are so great for toddlers and preschools because it helps them identify things that are similar, things that are not similar, recognizing patterns, recognizing things that are matching, and those are all such important skills. So it really helps to just keep emphasizing that and coming up with fun and different activities for it. So that was our week of activities. I have a ton more activities. And like I said, every Sunday, I'm gonna be posting my weekly activities and what we're gonna be doing that week. So if you haven't already, make sure you're following me on Instagram at HeyMamas18 so that you can always see what we're doing and maybe you could do it with your toddler too. But let's go check on Layla and see how she's doing now. You did get 
all the purple ones. And now you're doing the green ones. And again, a fun way to extend this is to be asking your child to, once they sort everything, say which color has the most, which has the least, and just kind of asking leading questions like that. And if you noticed, I put all the pom-poms to her left so that she has to drive to the right. And that's just kind of re-emphasizing going from left to right, like she's gonna be doing when she has to start reading. So it's always good to just start emphasizing that and really encouraging them to do things left to right. 